Okay then, and welcome back again. Now the tasks are done related to the finding a nice uh, menus, examples, and we can present them, but really shortly. You have half an hour and then the day is done. So only a few minutes and then we skip the comments unless somebody has really important things to say. So let's have the same order. So Vamya can start. We have one. Yeah. So. So hello everyone. So I will present. Uh, we have searched a restaurant that is uh, a really good uh, menu that they use uh, locally grown foods. Uh, we have search Rabin Talabakos. It is located here in Baasa, Finland, and, and it's a la carte. The starter is creamy funnel shatter soup with smoked cream beer. We chose this because we think that this one is like it's like local here in Finland. They have it here, the reindeer, and yeah, it is locally grown here. And the main course is, if I'm not mistaken, it's ginochi. You know, ginochi red pesto, ricotta, the bridges are, I think it's also local here in Finland. So it's just locally grown foods, grown foods. And the desserts, we also have here sea backsorn, sea backsorn, pina cotta, and caramelized sea backsorn berries. So, those ingredients we have been, we have it here in Finland, so I think this Rabin Palabacos really use uh, locally grown foods. So we also they also have cheese cheese. It's like two fish cheese, marmalade and sea bread. So that's all. Yeah. yeah and then and you can, sea bread. And then you can show the the website. Yeah. Then you have to share, you have to click step. Yes. But click share. I don't think that click share yeah. on the screen. All the audio are good, but yeah. yeah. So. Okay. So this, if you want. Uh, if you want to have more information, I'll show the menu yeah. presented on the website. <laughs> okay. We also have streams, but we chose the ones that yeah, they have that. Yeah, this one is the final chandelier. And for main course, we know she. And the uh, cheese, cheese. Ah, we also have raspberry, and I, and I think yeah. it is also local here. Okay. Thank you. We can find more, but we got it to interest for you now. Yep. Thank you. And uh, you. Yep. So I got the quick comments about that. So it was okay. They didn't have like a fixed menu for the three courses. In this case, they choose it from the list. But uh, as Lee in there, if you check out, then we were looking at the website, the restaurant's own website. The locality wasn't shown in there. But okay. And then uh, if you think about the reindeer, for example, it, it's one example about locality and how it works. If you're living in Vasa, we don't think that the reindeer is local food in you know, parts of Finland. But then, if you come from outside of Finland to Vasta, you're not a Finnish person, and the reindeer suddenly is quite local because it's you know, Finnish food. So, uh, the locality is quite a flexible term, and it also depends who are serving. If I serve reindeer for the people who live in Vasta originally, so they don't consider it as a local, but if I sell it as a local food for people who are coming from the US, for example, suddenly, same food, same place, it's not local, and that's how it works. 
Yeah. Okay, then we go to Trollet. Can you see everything? It went somewhere. It wasn't yeah. there in the beginning. We saw it for a second, but now it's, yes, from there. And yes, now we see it again. OK, no problem. So the restaurant we chose to do was um, Global Village, and it's in Dingle, so it's very and they're very well known for their use of local produce. So we've chosen to go through the website to kind of show you around and show you examples of their menus. So at their home page, they have their map there and then down here they have options so it tells you about their garden they grow most of their veg and fruit and herbs in their own garden so um about as local as they could get and meat and fish is also um comes from around dingle and around kerry and i think their duck they said was from west cork so quite close to us and then an example of their menu is this menu and What's kind of noticeable in it is that they are use of place names, so you know it's very traceable and you know exactly where the ingredients are coming from and they kind of promote the businesses as well by doing this. So you can see Dingle Farmhouse, Cream Cheese, um, the local brown crab, Skegnor Duck, which is from Cork, and Dingle Bay Ponds, Castle Gregory Trezo, and Glen Day Oysters, which we mentioned in our last presentation, and they're all um, extremely local. And their tasting menu sample also was interesting because they just list the ingredients, but they say up here it's from the peninsula's finest produce, so you know it's from Dingle. And then they kind of you kind of put your trust in them to um, be like ingredients that they're sourcing locally as well as they can with everything else that they add to the plate. But the main uh, component on each dish is clearly the ingredients that they have put the effort into to source locally and just about the awards yeah it's about it's only about Oh, okay, thank you. I think uh, if, if it, I would like to look it for more for sure, but you know the time limit is really strict. And if you could please, you know, share that link, for example, in the Facebook. I'm sure it's a page that we are going to look. And I, I think it's that's a like, perfect example out of the idea that we are also trying to, you know, build up in here. So is that really close to your school? And um, it's about 45 kilometers away, so quite close. Yeah, okay. Have you been there? Um, no, I've never visited myself, but I know a lot of people. It's very well known around here, so it's well established. Looks yeah. really, really good. Yeah, but is it, is it somehow like a unique or are there other restaurants like that? Or is it a really special place? Um, it's quite unique, but Dingle is very uh, food orientated. There's a lot of great restaurants around there and they're really well known for using local projects, but that's probably one of the best ones. Yeah. And has that been a thing for, is that a new thing about the locality and how long it's been, how, like the basis like that? Is that a new thing in your area or is it uh, something that has been a tradition for, you know, it's on the way? Yeah, just with regards to Kerry, and I suppose how, we, how Ireland sees itself, and we consider Kerry as the local region. And one of the main attractors into Kerry 
would be its tourism value. So in the past 25, 30 years, the food component of the tourism element has been promoted heavily simply because the ingredients were always here. But like we mentioned before, because nobody was telling the story, it was the message wasn't getting out there that we actually have the, some of the best ingredients in Ireland and in continental Europe, I might add, here on our own doorstep. And more and more restaurants are now utilizing that platform. Okay, thank you. So it's been done for you know, a few decades already, and I'm sure it, it, it clearly shows that there's been a lot of effort to do it. It's a thing that you can't clearly do like this. I, okay, if you do it like this, and it's done for a few years, so it takes uh, and, and a lot of time. Sorry, just here, Herman. Um, yes. The proprietor, the proprietor of the Global Village, is one of the chefs who gave an interview for the core project. So he, the interview is actually up on the closed Facebook page. So the students should probably really have a look, and they hear it directly from him as well. Martin Beelan. Okay. In that case, will you uh, upload that video? again for the students facebook page so it would be easy to find yeah thank you okay thank you thank you and then it's omnia's turn yeah, well done. no bother to you at all it's okay <laughs> okay and then yeah trolley you might want to close your mic our <laughs> mic is still on <laughs> We chose uh, Wild, which is a restaurant where they make wild food. The owner, Ossi, wants to change Finnish food culture and reduce food waste. What's really interesting about the restaurant is that it's only three days a week open and it's three hours a day open also. Um, we don't have a menu to show since the menu is a surprise menu. And as you can see in the picture, it really brings out the wild food they make. Okay, and then uh, the other thing what I um, I was going to say as well, the Aussie was one of the the videos what we created, uh, also was one of them as well. So I will uh, edit in our page as well. Um, the students, are, um, but perhaps they didn't tell you that, but in that restaurant, you are able to eat, like he said, wild food, but also like ants, uh, anything, uh, whatever you can find from the uh, forest, they create a lot of fermentation. They uh, they do a lot of different things as old ways we used to do. And now in that restaurant, uh, what they serve, as he said, is a surprise menu. You know that you have five di five different food, but it depends on virus uh, every single time. Okay, awesome, Omnia. It was really great. And as you see, like I did locally, I think it's nothing but a forest. So maybe <laughs> the capital area is the only place where it's not that much forest, but they also have enough to get the ingredients. So the forest is 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 uh, local anywhere here in Finland. Then uh, we continue to the last last thing. So basically, what we do, we summarize and then few minutes for Ona about the open patches, but. I go back to the thing link. Okay. So this is about the competition and, and this module. So this puts together things that should be done before the competition. So we have the portion cards for the kitchen with the ingredients mm -hmm. and there's a one uh, thing that is given. So we should have meat, seafood and berries or fruits used in it. So whatever kind of meat, we may consider it red meat, of course can be poultry also. Uh, seafood would be fish, clams, whatever, 
and then some kind of berries or fruits. And then there's like that you can do the seafood starter and the meat or other way around. You can choose these freely. It doesn't have to be on this kind in this order. Yeah, and also the berries and the fruits. If you don't want to use them in dessert, you can use them in the main course, like as one component. But as long as in this three course menu, all of these are in it. Then you do the recipes, the prices and the calculations, the layout and the carbon footprint. Okay, we get back to that if it's necessary. If it's not going to be teached during these lessons, then it's not necessary. Uh, and the special diets, how do you modify or do you have to modify? Is it already? And then the menu cards for the guests. So you decide the layout, style, colors. And remember, it should be part of the story and the gastronomic names gastronomic order should be also taken under consideration and then the story behind the food so implement that into your menu and into your menu card so into the dishes and into the menu card and then when the competition day now this might be already all information so we don't go into that but the original idea was to have a competition everybody's cooking in their own schools and it's going to be streamed and they cook at the same time there are local judges who are judging the taste of the food and how the students are working and then the next day the day after the competition the other group are evaluating other groups and reflect their work and outcome for these instructions and it includes the social media presence meaning basically the portfolio or the blog that you are creating okay do we have questions about this it, this one is on a nutshell the whole thing all the things are here if you forget it you can go always back here and check what kind of things you have done and what you still have undone for the competition and for the succeed for this first and then all the if you want i and we are going to you know the thing link is going to stay or the info in there is going to stay but we might add there something uh mm. sooner or later and we might you know change and modify something but the main things will stay we yes. just add something if we need to add it but this and, will and stay. for example if you want uh, information about this gastronomic name gastronomic orders there's nothing about that at the moment but I'm sure you get the guidance from school, the own teachers, but as a part of this course, we might uh, add the info in there sooner or later. But I think they are also really universal stuff. Uh, and then finally, it's a cooking competition and the more info about that. So for that, there should be the competitors blog, the video resumes, Instagram account, Okay, the menu, which is at this point sustainable, but there should be the menu designed by the given instructions given today. And then you participate in the competition. That's how open batch is going to be later on and demonstrate the international competencies. And, and that's already one thing that you have done today. This is an international online meeting. So during today you have done it and there are going to be more days to come. And there's more about how the judges are going to evaluate and so on. So everybody knows what is the name of the game. So, but there might be some changes in the future in Same the time. actual competition. I think the competition change day is changed, it's going to be after the summer, but we'll see. But next step is to start to think about your menu. That's something we are going to do anyway. And then, Ona. This is all for us. And uh, yeah, we can we can talk about it a bit after Ona. Then you know, close this thing so they wrap things up. But Ona, stage is yours and open patches. Okay. All right. So in uh, actually the open patches. Uh, you can find them in our website, as you see, uh, 
website and there is the, all the models. As we talked about the last time, you've got a model to local food and creating menus. You scroll down, you actually find that uh, ThinkLink 364 turn here as well. And then when you scroll down, uh, three of the open batches belongs under the uh, this part. So basically, if you click, they are kind of questionnaires that you have understood uh, what we are doing doing here. And then afterwards, you are able to gain the uh, open bats. It's simple meaning you just answer the questions uh, perfectly in uh, your um, blocks. You enter your name, you email address, what you are using. You uh, enter your school. And here you click the evidence, meaning the website page or Google Drive uh, folder. And if there is any uh, extra information, you could write it in here. But it's not really um, necessary in all the cases. You are able to also uh, click here and add normal um, drive um, sort of document through your PC. But I recommend that all of you guys, you learn how to use the um, so actual documents, actual, actual um, blog page. That's basically it. Any questions? Just in relation to doing it from a blog base, um, is there somewhere where the students can get instruction as to how they would do that? Uh, basically, last time uh, we went for the if I can open, let's see. So all of them, they have their own uh, pages. They create the block pages. I can see that there is some of them are still, uh, we need to fix them a little bit, but basically they are created. So we created uh, five different model, five different sub pages. So in under the sub page, local food and creating menus, you are continuing for there. You understand, you click um, sort of that it's ready and then uh, it's automatically downloaded and you give that link to the um, open batch, batch that uh, folder. Shall I open the block? Would that help? Please. Yes, please, Una, if good. Okay, I don't remember exactly on which name I created the last time the info, but basically um, all of the students, they should have only this one. So when you are open, you are enter in your Google account, again, you have those nine dots. Uh, as you saw, you click on blocker and then it automatically it comes to your blocker. You decide if you would have more than one uh, blocker page, from here you decide which one you would like to use. This one, it's our students' one. So they, um, I'm going for the pages, and they should have different names. In this case, I have different names of the base of the students, but they should have uh, names of the models. So then you clock on local food and creating menus. Uh, and then when you open, like I would open, this is the student. So they have writing uh, a lot of different things, so I'm not um, doing here nothing. You just continue. You write here to answer. You could copy uh, the question and then uh, uh, write the answer under. And then after that, upload. Did that help? Yes, excellent. Thank you. And afterwards, you actually, whatever I would have done, you are able to view it from this side. But like I said, this is the Lissabon block. This is nothing to do with Core. Because I didn't remember the name what I created last time. Any other questions? No. So in my part, it's again Bamia. Oh, yeah. Thank you. They are students will remember the name. Yeah. Is it the open budgets plant based diet? 
traditional and professional cooking skills with modern technologies, sustainable gastronomy. And they all have and they all local food uh, trading menus, personal branding and marketing. Yeah. No, it's not. No, 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 no. Okay. So basically I, I will show you what again. So you will see the models. Only the personal branding and marketing. There is nothing. There is completely. That's uh, what we went last time through. From under the personal branding and marketing, you should have that video and link to your uh, Instagram account, basically. And there is the, all the information what we have done. But there is no open patches. But when we go for the next model, which we were here today, local food and creating menus, you will see when you scroll down. Here are it's a uh, taste of the. The, the cooking competition, those three you need to create. And those two, they are pop-up events. So all together, if it would be the same person who's uh, pop -up and for competition, they would do all of those five. But those uh, who would do only for competition, it means only those three. And uh, let's go for the sustainable gastronomy. Again, you will see that there is a couple uh, open patches. Actually, there is only one open patch. Uh, which which is something to do with cooking competition. All other three, it's something to do with pop-up event. And again, the same. If I go for the next model, they are under here. There is two different. One for the competition, one for the pop-up. And the last one we have as well. But it's meant that we would uh, complete Complete them at the end. Well, you can do them already while we are doing the um, models, but for sure at the end. Uh, then we check them for sure that you have um, complete them. Okay. That's brilliant, Juno. Thank you. Um, guys, just there in Vamia, um, the classroom that we're in at the moment in Tralee, that's now booked. So we're going to have to leave the forum. Thank you very much for your presentation today. It was fantastic. Students really enjoyed it. And uh, hopefully we'll see you in a couple of weeks again. Yep. Thank you. And it's three o'clock, so it's time to go. Thank you. Yes. Anyway, nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.